Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you a quick and effective way to create the look of a worn out rubber stamp. This document is 1280 by 720 pixels with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. Call up your type tool and click on the character text box. I'm choosing a font called Stencil Standard. You can download many stencil fonts for free at urbanfonts.com. Click on the color box and choose a color for your stencil. I'm choosing a bright red. Click on your document and type out your text. To close the space between letters, place your cursor between them and press and hold Alt or Option and press the left arrow key. To reposition your text, call up your Move tool. Then click on your text and move it. We're ready to make the border around our text. Click on the New Layer button to make a new layer and call up your pencil tool. I'm choosing a 20 pixel size for this example. Call up your rounded rectangle tool and make sure the paths icon is highlighted. I'm choosing a radius of 75 pixels based on this document's size and resolution. Click and drag a rectangle over your text. Then right click on it and choose Stroke Path. The stroke path window will open. Make sure the tool is pencil and simulate pressure is unchecked. To hide the work path, open your paths panel and click anywhere in the empty area of its window. Open your layers panel and shift click on your text. Press Ctrl or Command plus E to merge the two layers together. Let's make a composite snapshot of the entire image and place it on its own layer. To do this, press Control shift alt plus e or Command shift option plus e on a Mac. Go to Filter, Brush Strokes, and Spatter. The Spatter window will open. The spray radius is 20 and the smoothness is 8. As you can see, at this point, our image is a bit too ragged for a rubber stamp, but don't worry, we'll adjust it. Go to Select and Color Range. Click on the arrow next to Sampled Colors. For this example, I'm choosing red since my text is red. However, I could also choose shadows since my background is black. Notice we now have a selection surrounding everything that's red. Click off the eyeball on the composite snapshot and click on the original unspattered text and border layer to make it active. Click on the layer mask icon. This makes a layer mask from the spattered selection. The spattered effect is now confined just inside our rubber stamp. Let's add some scratches to it to give it an even more worn away look. Click on your pencil tool and open up your list of brush presets. I'm choosing a set that I downloaded called Marks and Scratches. You can download them for free at doghousedesignstudio.com. This window will pop up. Click Append. Scroll down to the bottom of the thumbnails window and choose a scratch brush. Notice all the brushes in this set are 1200 pixels, so they're going to be very large. Hover the brush over the rubber stamp and click down once. I'll show you how to effectively stamp any document with it, but we first need to cut it out from its black background. We'll trash the top layer since we don't need it anymore, and we'll click on the new layer icon. Make a composite snapshot like you did before. Let's angle our stamp. Press Ctrl or Command T to call up the transform tool. Go to a corner. When you see a double curved arrow, drag it clockwise or counterclockwise to rotate the transform on its axis. Use your Move tool to move it and press Enter or Return to accept it. Call up your Magic Wand tool and click on the color. Go to Select and choose Similar. In the Layers panel, click on the New Layer icon and click on the foreground color. Choose a color. I'm going to stick with red. Press Alt or Option plus Delete to fill the selection with the foreground color. Now open up any document you want to stamp and press Ctrl or Command plus A to select it and then press Ctrl or Command plus C to copy it. Now open your rubber stamp document and press Ctrl or Command plus V to paste it into it. Drag your document under your rubber stamp and then click on your rubber stamp to make it active. 
change the blend mode to multiply. If you want to make your stamp smaller, call up your transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command plus T. Go to a corner and press Shift and Alt or Shift and Option and then drag it in. Use your move tool to move it and then press Enter or Return. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.